So I look at crayfish and I look at their behaviour around a trap and who goes in a trap and how this compares to the population on the seabed. Uh, because in New Zealand, most of our commercial fishermen uh, catch crayfish in traps. So that's why we want to know this. If there's a certain sort of size or sex that goes in a trap, this might affect the population on the seabed. I look at the observations around a trap. And so crayfish might come up to the trap and think, oh, you know, let's all jump in the trap, let's have a party. But sometimes they come up to the trap and they're like, oh, there's a big male in there, I don't want to go in a trap. So traps are really selective. And there's lots of different reasons as to why a crayfish might not go in a trap. But what we're finding is that they really do attract the bigger animals. And so these are usually often the large males. The traps are designed to catch the bigger animals. But in the long run, having removing these large males, for instance, might affect uh, the reproduction because the females, what they like doing is they like looking for the biggest, best, best male. And sometimes if they don't find that, that good male, they might sort of have to mate with lots of little small ones. It might not be as, as successful for them. I take uh, a camera shot every minute and then I piece it all together and I've got, you know, their behaviours around the trap. And it's, yeah, it's really interesting. I see, see you some big crayfish come in. I've got fish around. We've got eels and octopus. So there's lots of things happening around a trap. And some nights there's nothing. But, yeah, it's really interesting to see what happens.